G'day, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I've been reading and hearing a lot about what people are calling an audio bug on the Blackmagic ATM Mini. But it's not really an audio bug, it's just a, an audio thing that happens on any device. Stick around, I'll tell you all about it. Hey there, really good to see you again. Now, before I get started, just don't forget to uh, click on that subscribe button if you haven't already, and the like, and leave a comment below. That would be awesome. Okay, let me tell you about this audio bug that I keep hearing about, and people keep complaining about, and they're saying, hey, Blackmagic, you got to fix this thing. But it's not really an audio bug. There is something Blackmagic could do about it. I'll get to that in a few moments. Now, what's happening is... There's a slight delay sometimes if you've got a, a camera plugged in here and a microphone plugged directly into the Blackmagic ATM Mini. Now this delay between them looks a little bit like this. I'll turn my main microphone off now and I'll turn my secondary microphone on. Okay, now I'm talking at the same sort of speed, same pace, the microphone's the same distance away from me. In fact, it's just up over here, and it's plugged into the back of the ATM just in here. Whereas the other one is coming through the HDMI into this channel here. So what I've got is this microphone here turned on. Now, when you see me talking, you might notice that right now my lips are slightly out of sync. That's if you can see them under the moustache. To make that more pronounced, I can just um, clap my hands, and you'll see that when my hands hit, there's a slight delay between that and the sound that you hear now you should be able to see that fairly easily if you're not sure feel free to download this video and have a look at the waveform on it in fact i'll put a copy of the waveform right here there you go and you can see that now and you can see that right here is where my hands hit together and this is the point in the audio wave where that audio hits. What's happening is that because the Blackmagic A10 Mini uses HDMI, you're going to have a half frame to a two frame delay on any audio coming through the HDMI signal compared to a microphone that's input directly into the A10 Mini. This is something that people who work in the audio visual industry know about. So what that means is that normally if you're recording through an HDMI device and you've got this audio feed, you know that you're going to have to slip the audio a couple of frames across. Here we are in the edit suite in Final Cut Pro and you can see this is the same bit of audio. All I need to do to fix this up is just move this, this um, couple of frames or frame and a half across like this. And now when I play that back, that's all perfectly in sync. The easy way to avoid that is do what I've got here and have your microphone plugged directly into your camera. As you can see, I've got here. I've got this Rode mic up here. This is the one that you're listening to now. And that there is plugged directly into the back of my camera here. And that's why I've got this audio feed on full time. And I've got the other ones turned off. I don't have any of them on Audio Follows Video and I'm not using the external plugged-in mic. And that's basically all there is to it. It's because there is in the HDMI, HDMI. And that's basically all there is to it. Because of this d slight delay of a frame and a half or two frames in the HDMI spec and the HDMI transmission and encoding and all that sort of stuff that happens on in the background, you're going to get that slight delay. It always happens with HDMI. People who work in the industry know about it and we know how to deal with it. What Blackmagic could do to help out with all of this, however, is to put a small 
delay capability in the ATM control software. Hopefully that's something that we might see them come up with sometime soon because it's not just with this device, it's with any ATM and any um, audio visual mixer as well that um, other companies come out with. Everyone deals with the same problem. So it's not a defect in this, it's just a known thing and hey hopefully um, Blackmagic will put a little feature in here that will compensate for that delay, especially for live streaming. That's where it really has an effect because you can't do that post-production slip of the audio thing like I just showed you. Anyway, this is a short video. Uh, just wanted to clarify that one and um, hopefully it's been useful to you. I will see you again tomorrow. Click on one of these things up here and do that button down here thing as always. See you later.